Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here, and welcome to the Canon Cinema EOS C200 and C200B video training series. We are currently in Canon's Burbank facility in Los Angeles, California, and I am in the prep bay. This is an amazing space where you can do camera comparisons, lens evaluations, you can build up your camera systems to find the right camera for you. In this video, we're gonna do an overview of the C200 and the C200B, so let's get started. So before we talk about all of the things that are the same about the C200 and the C200B, let's talk about the differences. And the biggest difference out of the box is there is no electronic viewfinder on the C200B and it is not an accessory that you can add to the camera. And this is by design so that if you want to take this camera, which is just the body itself with all of the functionality of the C200, you can take this camera and you can put it onto a gimbal system, you can mount it to a drone, and it gives you that flexibility without that EVF getting in your way. Of course, you can add an EVF later on if you want to. In fact, right here, I have the EVF V70, and if we purchase and add the handle unit, which comes standardly with the C200, we can actually marry these two together, and this EVF gives us a lot of additional functionality when using it with this camera system in terms of HDR, de-squeezing, and we can also assign buttons to it, or there are assignable buttons on it, so we can give it lots of functionality. This is something that comes from the C700, and it is something that you can, again, add to the C200B or to the C200 if you'd like to. Additionally, we can still add this grip unit to the system. It has an industry standard rosette, so it gives you lots of mounting options in terms of not only using it with the C200 and the C200B, but also on other rigs. And we can additionally, of course, add this, the LM V1, which is the monitor unit that comes with the C200, and also the LA V1, which is the mounting system for that. So there's a lot of modularity here if you do, in fact, get the C200B in terms of what you can do with that camera system. So now it's time to talk about the things that are the same about the cameras, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's talk about some of the key features of the 200 and the 200B that make them special. First of all, dual digit DV6 processors. What does that mean in the real world? It means a lot of horsepower. It means that for a modern digital camera system like this, we can do things like not only record to SD cards, but we can also record in 4K, true DCI 4K, in Cinema Raw Light to CFast 2.0 cards. Also, we have a super 35 millimeter sensor inside of this camera system that is designed for HDR production in terms of wide color gamut and also dynamic range. And in terms of a camera system as a whole, one of the things that I love the most is the modularity of it and also the design of the camera system. I have been using the Cinema EOS cameras since the original C100 Mark I. In fact, I still own two of those camera systems. And the evolution that we see in the C200 is pretty remarkable in terms of not only the ergonomics of the camera system, but also the functionality in terms of what we can get out of it. And let's talk about some of those things. Now, this is a fully built out C200. And we have the EVF here, we have the handle unit, we have the LAV1, which is what we're attaching the LMV1, the monitor unit to. And we also have the grip unit over here, which if you've used the C100 series or C300 series, you'll feel right at home with. But there is one other thing, and this is an improvement that we see on the C200, which is the microphone holder. And the microphone holder here, I should note, comes with both the C200 and the C200B. It has a great shock mount. It's very, very sturdy. And it has a little cable holder here, so it will hold your microphone cable. And it is also designed so you don't have to build it up if you're putting a standard boom mic in here with gaffer's tape or something else. So really, really great addition to the camera. So fully built out here, to me, this camera feels fantastic in the hands in terms of handheld operation. And this LMV1 is really probably my favorite thing about the C200, this newly designed monitor unit. It is rock solid. 
It is completely modular. You can take it off of the LA V1 and it has quarter 20 taps so you can mount it anywhere you want. And it's also a touch screen. So when you're using dual pixel CMOS AF, you can use that LMV1 for that, which again, we'll talk about in another video. So extremely modular in terms of what you can do. It's a very, very high quality monitor unit. And speaking of high quality, let's talk about the EVF. It is an organic EL, EVF, or electronic viewfinder, and it is very, very high quality. So if you're just running and gunning with this camera system without the monitor unit, you can get great judgment in terms of your color reproduction. It's ideal for HDR production. And we also have another big change here, which is on the C200 and the C200B, we have built-in XLR inputs. So there are two built-in XLR inputs on the camera system. You have your audio controls right here on the back of the camera system, which make it very, very easy for you to control them as a single operator when you're running and gunning. And just sort of what you would expect out of a Cinema EOS camera, the assignable buttons and the button placement that we're so used to that make a lot of sense. They're very, very logical. And even little changes like this control dial and it being placed right here so that you can make changes to things like iris as an operator very, very easily. And while we have the camera over here on this side, it comes standard with an EF mount, but you can also send the camera in and you can actually have it serviced to change that to an industry standard PL mount. So there you have it. That's an overview of the C200 and the C200B. In other videos in this series, we'll be setting up the camera for shooting, we'll be shooting with the camera system, and we'll also be talking about post-production workflows. Thanks for watching.